Hi there, my name is Mukesh Kala, three times UiPath most valuable professional, certified UiPath trainer and an advanced certified developer. Welcome to my YouTube channel and today I am going to tell you what all we have covered in our YouTube channel. So this is our YouTube channel which is called Tutorials by Mukesh Kala. If you are a beginner who is just starting his UiPath journey and you have no idea where can I get started, what should be the roadmap. So you have a playlist here which is called UiPath Beginner Start Here that is in the home page. You just click on it and it has a complete playlist which will guide you in a step by step manner to proceed as an RPA developer. In case you are more comfortable in Hindi, you can watch this playlist which is called UiPath Hindi Playlist which has got the same thing covered in the Hindi language where we are completing the developer foundation in Hindi language. These are the live classes so you can just go and watch them and you can start your UiPath journey. For a little bit more experienced people there is always a problem that where do I get the use cases. I have learned everything now I want to practice the use cases. I got you covered. So we have this playlist which is called practice end to end use cases. This I have created some of the use cases using RE framework, RE framework with queues, RE framework with data tables, linear RE framework and then as you can see I have a loan processing robot, uh, ID card robot, generate, record creation, shopping robot, news robot. All of these are available for you. Now you might be thinking just by watching I won't be able to practice and what will I get right you just have to start any of the video and if you want to get all the files all the code all the material which I am using in this tutorials you have to go to my website which is called mukeshkala.com which is this and you have a download section here okay in the download section I have shared all the material of that use case so what you have to do is let's say you are practicing this use case generate offer letter you come here, here you would find the video links, you click on this button which says download the file and this will download all the material which I am using in that tutorial. So you would have the code, you would have the input files, all that is required is just you to get started. Okay. Apart from that we have something which is called a mock interview series. Now this is a bit different for the people who are preparing for interview and you are having less confidence to appear for interview and you want do not want to mess up the actual interview you can come to this playlist and watch these mock interviews these are the mock interviews when I say mock these are not for any job opportunity or any of the company any of the job roles this is just a mock interview and the best part you also can appear for such a mock interview all you have to do is send me your resume the cost of the mock interview is free for you okay in case you want to know more about the mock interviews and what kind of question we expect what is there in the resume i take the mock i give the feedback and it is helping a lot of people okay so that was the mock interview series next we have got something which is called something related to enterprises like enterprises use excel databases all these are step by step explained in this series which is called excel automation series where you can get started and you can continue your excel journey okay also we have got a playlist quite a short one that you might have heard that open ai chat gpt is very common nowadays how do you integrate with rpa and how do you create solutions out of it right so this is a playlist where we are exploring the open ai chat gpt and rpa there is one common question which i always get that mukesh i am working as an rpa developer what I should learn to enhance my skills right and my recommendation is that you should always have a knowledge of databases when I told this to the aspirants or to my followers they had a question right where do I get started I don't have a SQL I don't know the basics what should I do there we have this playlist which is called database basics SQL server where we are starting from scratch that what exactly is SQL Server, basics of databases, create table, everything at a basic level which you need to get started. You have this and then we have another series where we are combining database with UiPath and looking at how you can operate. 
also we have something which is called robotics enterprise framework right re framework is a must for every developer and it's quite a complex topic so what i have done is i have break down re framework into small small modules where we are first covering the basics then creating a use case then converting re framework to work with data tables linear process all of that is covered in this re framework playlist and also the use cases okay now some of you are already aspiring to be in a support role developer role right there was always questions which were coming what does the support role look like what are the roles and responsibility how i can get started what happens and all those things right so multiple times multiple people come to me and ask the questions what i have done is i have collated all those queries and created this playlist which is called rpa support role you can watch this complete playlist and in case you are aspiring to be a production support engineer in rpa you will get at least some insights okay moving ahead we have something which is called exception handling whenever we are writing the code it's not going to happen that it is going to work in the first attempt you will always have exceptions errors as an rpa developer it is important for you to know exception handling try catch throw throws continue and error g handler all of that again explained in a step by step manner in this complete playlist okay selectors right ui path has got selectors which is very powerful whenever we do any ui automation with the help of keyboard mouse we need to use the selector classic design right so basic of selector is covered in this playlist is that all no okay so if you go to the playlist right there is one playlist which we have been currently working on which is called design experiences ui path has got modern versus classic and now modern has got a lot of features compared to classic there is a dedicated playlist where i am teaching you what are the design experiences classic versus modern you would find in this playlist okay there is a playlist which talks about the best practices i am working as an rpa developer but i want to know whether i am following the best practices whether i am writing the correct code or not we have this playlist which is called ui path best practice where i am telling in small small modules that what are the best practices you should follow okay then i have something which is called a code review playlist i have got some developers they have written some code i am reviewing that code as a code reviewer and giving them feedbacks okay we have some series which is called a quiz series this is just for fun where we are giving some question 10 15 20 questions and at the end the expectation from you is to give your score so there are total four to five quizzes based on re framework selectors basics orchestrator so in case you want to have some fun and you want to test your knowledge you can watch this quizzes okay i have one more playlist which is pretty interesting and this is coming from the instagram as well right where i am showing some of the tips and tricks as a developer which you can do to speed up your development right these are all 90 second tips and tricks you can just watch and then there would be some big videos as well okay if we move ahead there is one important playlist which i want to focus which is ui path product updates every time every 6 month ui path is coming with updates and every update give us a new features so as a ui path developer it is very important for us to know what is there in the product and that's why we have this playlist which is called ui path product updates in this playlist i am covering the updates as you can see the latest one is 2023.4 which is 23 april where we have covered this updates here right so you can watch this playlist and you would be understanding okay and then we have these orchestrator playlist uh, end to end use cases and much more okay so this was an overview of what is already there in this channel and i will try to come up with more of such videos or such playlist right so i hope you found this insightful and if you think that this is going to add value please consider subscribing to the channel that will motivate me to create more of the videos okay so that is all for this video 
I would like to wrap this video here. I hope this was insightful. If you have any more questions, any more doubts, feel free to write me in the comments or you can also drop me an email as well. I would appreciate your feedback on the video and tell me in the comments what would be the next topic or next video you want to see. So with that, I would wrap this video here. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please do subscribe to the channel and happy automation.